What's going on YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk back with some very sad news. You know, as we know, the 4th of July was last night and every year when it comes to the 4th fireworks celebrations, accidents happen. I'm sure everyone remembers just a few years back or maybe it's more than a few now at this point. Um, at that time, NFL's star who back then played for the Giants, Jason Pierre-Paul, you know, blew part of his hand off. His hands just totally mangled. Just a gruesome injury. He was very lucky that that's all that, you know, happened there. As it could have been much, much worse. Well, another athlete uh, was injured, but I'm not sure if you guys have seen the reports yet. It was fatal. 24-year-old Matisse Kivlenix, and apologies if I'm not so on point with the pronunciation of his name I, i'm very bad pronouncing names a lot of the times where i'll hear someone else hit it hit it right on the head with the proper pronunciation and then i'm just not so good with it but uh 24 years old goalie in the nhl for the columbus blue jackets died dead at 24 from a firework accident very very sad I hope I pray uh, for this young man. Rest in peace to him, his family, his friends, thoughts with them and everything. I pray that it was, you know, quick and painless for him. But uh, the reports sound very, very bad. You know what I mean? Uh, originally, there were reports coming out that there was a malfunctioning firework going off. So he was running to try to get away, slipped and hit his head and died of the head trauma. But uh, after a medical examiner, you know, did a did an autopsy and examined everything, they said it was actually from an explosion, like chest trauma, from a mortar style firework. Now I'm no explosives expert or anything like that, or firework expert, you know. Um, but mortar, I know they use at in, in war. You know what I mean, like. It's some heavy duty stuff and apparently uh, what's being reported is that there was a firework that was kind of like tilted and when it, you know, so it, the, the fireworks started shooting off towards people and hit him in the chest and he died. So once again, I just hope that it was painless for this guy, man, 24 years old, very sad, you know, pro athlete playing in the NHL and dies on the 4th of July at a celebration. A lot of people from around the NHL, you know, are, are uh, going on their social media and just expressing how sad they are. And, you know, a lot of the Columbus Blue Jackets, the, the franchise said it's very, it's with a very heavy heart that we share the news that goaltender Matisse Kivlenix passed away last night at the age of 24. We are heartbroken. Please keep his family in your thoughts and prayers. Rest in peace, Kivy. Uh, then... The Rockford Ice Hogs, which I believe is, what is that, a uh, farm team, like the AHL or whatever, a farm system team, I could be wrong, comment guys, let me know if I'm wrong, they said, uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the Kivlenix family in the Blue Jackets NHL organization, and we are deeply saddened to hear of the uh, passing of um, goaltender Matisse Kivlenix. Uh, the, the Calgary Flames, our deepest condolences go out to Matisse, family, friends, teammates, and entire Blue Jackets organization. Rest peacefully, Matisse. Uh, Nick Felino, who, if you guys uh, watch my channel, you know I am a diehard Buffalo Bills fan. So the Sabres is my hockey team, who we've just been horrible. So, you know, I haven't even spoke on them much at all. When it comes to me making content, but Nick Felino used to play for the Sabres and he said, seeing all the beautiful tributes to Matisse only further cements what kind of person he was. What a tragic loss for all of us who knew him. And I am thinking and praying for his family, having gained a darn good goalie and better person just way too soon. R.I.P. Kivy. And um, yeah, man, it's just it's just very sad. Like I was talking about Jason Pierre Paul. Uh, some years back when that accident happened and he lost part of his hand, I remember there being a lot of controversy and, and discussions going on about how um, pro teams would 
get pissed at their players, you know, more or less because they're looked at as an investment and they, they have, you know, big contracts and everything. And, you know, at that time, they were just kind of like, hey, uh, you know, J Jason Pierre-Paul fucked up. And, you know, he was kind of being like criticized for his actions, you know, because people were saying that was stupid or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. You know, athletes are people, too. Right. I mean, obviously, yeah, they they make a lot of money at what they do. And uh, a million people out here would would give everything just to be able to be in that position, whatever sport it is. But I mean, at the end of the day, there are people too. they want they want to have fun. Just like I remember when Roethlisberger got into a uh, motorcycle accident and, uh, you know, he survived and everything. But there was all these talks about, you know, like. The, the, the players association or the teams they wanted to make it where guys can't ride motorcycles anymore and my point for bringing all this up is um like i said they're people too they want to have fun but regardless a life has been lost you know and we don't know the exact specifics of what happened like i said all that's really being reported is originally they thought that he was running away from a malfunctioning firework and hit his head and passed but then after examination have found that, you know, it, it malfunctioned, was tilted and hit him in the chest. And it's very just very, very sad. You know, we, we don't know exactly why it was malfunctioning, who was at fault or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's just very, very sad. You know what I'm saying? Athletes, celebrities are all people, too. And, you know, when 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 things happen. Uh, everyone generally looks at it differently than they would when things happen to to anyone else but it is what it is you know what i mean it's a it's a tragedy uh to, to pass away 24 years old at a celebration you know what i mean and like i said originally i hope that it is uh was or i'm sorry i hope that it was painless for this guy and that he he passed away quickly it's been quite some time since i went to like a firework celebration where i was with friends or family you know what i mean where we were up close and personal letting off the fireworks you know what i'm saying i've moved away to where i don't really have people that i go get together with at gatherings you know what i mean and um but always man safety's got to be first safety has to be first you know what i'm saying because fireworks um can be very very dangerous and we know this but uh, jump in the comments with your thoughts, guys. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you're new over here. This is Jay Coffee Talk. We drop content every day. We talk music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. Um, share, have you ever had a close situation with a firework where it malfunctioned or hit someone near you or hit you or almost hit you or anything like that? Uh, drop it in the comments below. Thoughts and prayers out to um matisse like i said friends family uh fans everyone just a damn damn tragedy very very sad and like i was saying before man athletes celebrities they're people too we know they ain't perfect thanks for watching i'll catch you guys on the next video i'm out of here peace